Kentucky and Indiana have both seen school shootings over the last decade, and many of the laws passed to keep students safe here came as a result. WDRB's Katrina Nickel explains how our two states try to prepare for a worst case scenario. When parents send their children through the front doors of a school, there's an expectation that they will walk out those same doors at the end of the day. And to ensure that happens, there are a number of ways schools in our area are trying their best to keep kids safe. There's people that don't care, right? Or there's just troubled people. It's a thought that enters most parents' minds in 2024. What if? Because you just never know. The latest shooting happening inside a high school in Georgia, taking four lives. Kentucky has seen its own share of violence inside schools. A student was shot inside Fern Creek High School in 2014. Two people were shot at Noblesville Middle School in central Indiana in 2018. And two more people were killed and several others shot in 2018 at Marshall County High School in Kentucky. And I'm praying for those families because that's terrible. Following Marshall County shooting, Kentucky implemented several school safety laws, one of those being to require a school resource officer on every campus. As of 2024, only 67% of schools have an SRO. All Kentucky schools must undergo on-site reviews to ensure compliance with the safety laws, ensuring building security and training requirements are met. Anybody to lose a child for any reason is awful, but to have someone you know, forcibly take them in a place that they're just there to learn, and they shouldn't be learning that. Unlike Kentucky, Indiana law requires a trained school safety specialist in every school. Different from a school resource officer, this individual undergoes several days of training on best practices to protect schools. Indiana also allows teachers to be armed after completing training. However, it is not known how many schools have armed staff. You know, like telling a kid how to hide because there's a bad guy. Um, but you kind of have to. Indiana and Kentucky both require annual lockdown drills at schools, hoping to keep everyone inside schools prepared. It is unfortunate, but I think that it is realistic in the world that we live in today. In the future, and if you live in Kentucky and have information that you believe could cause harm inside schools, you can call this hotline and report that to the state. In Louisville with photojournalist Zebanique Petties, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.